coming to the next topic uh, that is uh, investment decisions we are covering the second part of the financial decision the first part was a financing decision now the second part uh, is the investment decision once the funds are been uh, procured are been raised now the next step is to invest those procured fund somewhere from where we can you know fetch higher rate of return or we can fetch profit out of it right so investment decision is about the investment of the funds or the procured acquired funds right where to invest those procured fund those procured fund can either be invested in the long term assets or the short term assets right when these uh, funds they are invested in long term assets we call it as capital budgeting because we are purchasing fixed assets right whereas if such uh, funds such money is invested in short term funds that is called the working capital right such uh, uh, short term assets are uh, the assets which can be easily convertible into uh, cash right within a year fine so they are called short term assets right every firm every company is having very limited resources or you can say the scarce resources whether it's labor whether it's uh, land whether it's uh, finance fine so they have very limited resources now comes the management uh, role management actually makes a company to take uh, uh wise decisions in order to uh make an optimum utilization of such scarce resources so the company has to make decision how to make investment decisions in terms of using those funds acquired fund procured fund in order to utilize them in an optimum way where there should be more profit and less wastage fine investment decision also decides upon the composition of the firm means composition of the firm is what will be the composition of the ratio of the fixed asset and the current assets fine let's come to the long term decisions right long term decisions means the decisions related to the purchasing of fixed assets or that is called the capital budgeting means how much amount we are going to invest in purchasing or buying fixed assets right fixed assets like uh, for example a uh, building furniture right or any machinery they are the fixed asset now how the these long term decisions they are going to affect the company right because you will see that when a company is purchasing or buying these long term assets or the fixed assets they should have a strong financial position because these purchasing of long term assets or the fixed assets they involve a huge cost that's why a company has to look at their the capacity their financial position as well as the earning capacity of these fixed assets for example if we are going to buy a building right and that building will be uh, given on rent fine so what rent actually we are fetching from that particular building or if any kind of production is taking place on that particular building so what profit right out of that production process we are going to make through by using that particular building so we have to see the rate of return we have to see we have to look at the profit we are making after investing amount in that particular asset right so we have to look at the earning capacity of the long term asset or the fixed asset wherein we are going to invest huge amount right second as i told you that uh, purchasing of fixed asset they involve a huge outflow of money so again a company has to be financially strong and if a company is not financially strong then they have to take a risk of investing in such you know fixed assets because they involve a huge huge cost and that cost cannot be it is irreversible actually it is irreversible once that amount is gone 
once you have purchased your machinery fine so you will not be able to get that amount back because you have now converted that cash into a fixed asset so it is that particular cost is irreversible you cannot undo your decision once you have invested in the purchasing of fixed asset right why a company has to invest in fixed assets why what is the need of capital budgeting right need of capital budgeting obviously we are if i am uh, buying a new building if i am buying more furniture if i am buying more land right why it only happens when a company is growing capital budgeting is required for the expansion purpose for the diversification purpose for the growth purpose right so if we are buying more and more fixed asset it shows that a company is actually growing it is expanding fine so for the expansion purpose we require capital budgeting now the factors affecting capital budgeting what are the factors which generally affect the capital budgeting first the cash flow of the project when we are deciding upon the investment in fixed asset we look at the cash flow of that particular project for example i told you that uh, if i am going to purchase a particular machinery right or i am going to invest in a particular project fine so what return what profit am i making right out of alternative projects right for example i have uh, with me i have two three options of you know investing in different project project a project b project c so before deciding upon the best project i will look at the cash inflow that how much profit i am making out of that investment project a is reasonable and regular cash flow am i getting a reasonable and a regular cash flow from project a or from project b or from project c 